Hey. 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 Hello? Uh, yeah, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Maybe a fire alarm in the background. Do me a favor. Keep talking for a second. Okay. Is 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 your house on fire? Because some, something sounds wrong. Did I'm you... not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. I know what's going on. Hold on. Uh, okay. It, it, it's it's it it's definitely fire. Definitely on fire. Big old big old fire problem going on over there. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, did you put the fire out? Yeah. Okay, good. I didn't start the fire though. Oh, okay. It was it always, was always burning. burning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so I sold my soul. Highway 47 is back and in, in doing what the kids like in the, here with what the, with the you know with the raps and their you know eating ourselves into the, the new era with Star Trek Lower Decks season four episode one is what we're doing tonight. I'm Shaggy. Be with me is Draco Funk. Hey, you know my youngest child has been started using the word yeet and it bothers me. Yeah, like look, I'm gonna yeet this over here. <laughs> oh my. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I you know, and it, like I was, I was thinking about that word earlier today, um, for reasons, and uh, like I think, I think even yeet is like not cool anymore. Like I think we're that, I think I'm that far behind, you know, where, you know, like like I use it sometimes, and small children use it, which means there's no teenager on earth who's going to use it, you know. I well, that's true. I don't have a teenager, yet. not yet. Not not too long though. You will you will soon, before you know uh, it. Uh, yeah, it'll be okay. Uh, At least you got a car for him. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, um, I didn't I didn't look into this at all, but you did, Draco Funk. So tell us what you know. This episode aired September seventh, twenty twenty three. Wow, we're only a day behind. That's pretty good. It has an IMDb rating of eight point three. Which is nearly meaningless a day later. It has a, it's titled Tuvix. Oh, like the Voyager episode that's also titled Tuvix. Except it's spelled differently. Oh. Hmm. It's spelled T W O V I X. T W O V yeah, that's the that's the way that I imagined it was spelled when you said that. And I, <laughs> I contained my rage briefly. Uh, well, <laughs> we're watching this on Paramount All Access. That's what it's called, right? I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Paramount yeah. Flicks. Fair, 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 fair Amir's prick. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's definitely not it. <laughs> that, 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> so start up your Paramount All Access Plus Plus um, and find this episode and hit play, pause, hit the 10 second rewind button. We're not going to skip the intro. We're not going to skip the recap if there is one. I don't know. I haven't watched the whole thing. That's right. This and is our first time watching it. We've never seen this. I have no idea what to expect. You know, it's it could be about cats and dogs eating together. And, you know, I, I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. To hell with this. You know, we got we got to 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 make it happen. So, all right. This is Star Trek Lower Decks Season 4, Episode 1. 
two VIX. You know, the only way it could be worse is if it was a number two and then VIX. And if it if that's what comes on comes up on the screen, I'm <laughs> I, I just I might not recover. But never mind that. We're gonna watch it now. Here it is in five, four, three, two, one, go. My pacing's off because I wasn't watching a timer while I was counting down like usual because I don't care. That was that a koala in that nebula? Maybe. We're inching ever closer to a Star Trek and WWE crossover with these uh, little franchise vignettes at the beginning. Ooh, nice drop out of warp effect. Don't I love how it's a picture of a sheet of paper on their pad. Oh, hey. Foreshadowing. You suppose, like, something major is going to happen here? <laughs> oh. Beljo Tweakle. Ah, I see. Huh. huh. Cool. Huh. I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I wasn't really either. I, well, I, I wasn't expecting it, but I'm not surprised. Because, you know. There's a well probe there now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and a crystallinity. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, all of my get ready for the Ford Drake minimum alarms went off. Ooh, was that thing glowing before? I feel like that's gotten bigger. It was glowing before, but I think it is bigger. Okay. Is that a new recording of the theme song, too? I think it is. I don't I know. I think so. I need to go back and check. Yeah. Imagine if they spent this much time rendering the interiors on the Cerritos. <laughs> <laughs> like. I kind of want to eat some Neelix cheese. 
I no, I you know, not mm -hmm, no no mm -mm, nope. Rot row. Oh, oh okay. No. Well, now I know what's going to happen. The Voyager transporter effect. Commercial break. Me. We're back. Woo. Hmm, well, I'll be uh I'll be reading Twitter if you need me. I've seen Voyager. <laughs> huh. Ooh. The Voyager effect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the fart squid's pretty funny. Uh <laughs> Oh good. Oh. Did any of us really, though? <laughs> I don't think any of us asked to be created. <laughs> All right, new rule. Don't be friends with anybody who didn't ask for their own birth. F*** you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Hmm. 
It's like restoring a car. You put modern <laughs> spark, plug, spark plugs in it. Uh... <laughs> nope. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Uh. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> okay, the clarinet part is going to be pretty great. Uh, uh, <coughs> what? Uh, Uh, what? To fix him. Can I point out something? Yeah. The soundtrack for this is actually really good. It is pretty good, actually. Yeah, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Can you can you explain it to me? Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, that guy might just make the whole episode worth it. <laughs>how do they get it in there? I, never mind. Don't tell me. How do you know it's not sentient? I mean, commercial break, we're back. Woo! We. <laughs> <laughs> the brushed aluminum on the uh, door was a nice, uh, nice animation touch there. Earth. We woo. <laughs> I really want there to be a band like on the ground playing this. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be the Vulcan. Oh. Huh. Yeah.
Huh. Ah, growing up. Do you see how much taller than her, him, than him, her, she, he, damn it. What? Huh? <laughs> did, 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 who? <laughs> Do you see how tall he was? Yeah, he's pretty tall. Okay. He's not usually that tall, is he? No, he usually is. He's like oh, okay. much taller than all of them. Oh, okay. But there, that actor has now actually appeared as her character in like actual life. Yeah. Um, she is five eleven, and Boimler's actor is six one. Yeah, I can see that. So, how tall is he? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, well, that, that was. Uh, it is now the, canon. Yeah, that they are. They have appeared like in actual life as their characters. Well, yeah, I know. Like, I, I've seen the. I've seen. Uh, I've seen I've seen stills from uh from from Boimler. Yeah, so like how t- how tall is Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Huh? Is this that time shuttle? Uh, I was really expecting the same bird of prey explosion sequence from <laughs> Star Trek Six and Generations and Deep Space Nine. <laughs> I I kind of wish they had done that. I really ironically, wish they had. <laughs> like if you're gonna retread the same thing, you know, <laughs> like this would have been the only funny time to actually do it. It really would have been. <laughs> <laughs> like not even animated, just yeah, like act- that, that, yeah, like that guy getting you know blasted through the hallway while it explodes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, interesting take on it, I suppose. You know, that wasn't bad, honestly. Wasn't bad, I know. I. I- <sighs> Like, like I'm, I'm, nah. this this whole series is is it's like it's all callbacks, you know. And nah, okay, I feel like the purpose of this is to not. Uh, what am, what am I trying to say? 
you you can't go into this expecting serious Star Trek, and they're not trying. They're by where they're the part of Star Trek they're trying to inhabit lets it be that. Yeah, because they're not be- trying to be on the front line, and they're not trying to mess up canon. Yeah, and and that, that's good. You know, I respect that. And I think the callbacks are just. This is the part of Trek that gets to be a little bit fun and silly and stupid for the sake of being it. It's all those little parts of Star Trek that we've kind of made fun of. Yeah. Like, I I wonder if there's somebody doing this and this is the, this is what that is. I think, I think the thing is that I enjoy that more when it's, when it's not, when, when, when it is parody, when it is like, you know, from an outside source. You know, like there's there's for for lack of a better term, there's a sanctity to the canon, you know, and. And and, and as much as, you know, like I'm also the first one to say you, you shouldn't take these things too seriously, but it 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 takes me out of it when. Within, you know, with, with within itself it is mocking itself and you know kind of breaking the fourth wall it's 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 tonally incorrect <laughs> i think that Ray, that's really at the core of my 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 problem <laughs> rated out of 10 this episode <clears throat> It loses two points for being a retread of an old plot, um, and and not well. No, okay, not a retread of an old plot. Literally, just like they they named the episode the same thing. <laughs> um, it had the whale guy. Come on, the whale guy was really good. That's another half a point back. Uh, six. Okay. Six even. Yeah. I'm going higher. I'm like 8.4. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, like, it, it's it's just, I don't know. Like, Star Trek is one of those canons to me that, that deserves to be... It, it, it deserves to be left as a serious thing. You know? Like... Like, like, imagine how angry, like, people would get if, like, there were mainline Lord of the Rings books and films that were farcical. You know, like that—that that seems ridiculous and inappropriate, right? Have you have you seen the um the the prequel Lord of the Rings movies? No, I haven't. Okay. So <laughs> okay, well there you go. Like and 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 that's not to say there can't be humor in it, and it can't ever be enjoyable. You know, it can't ever be funny or anything like that. But it's like I don't know. Like there there the 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 degree of irreverence. Like it's not it's not even that. Like there can be characters who are irreverent. That's fine. It just it's I don't know. It really just takes me out of it when it's when it's like so it slap you in the face with like it, it's like it's like the people on screen are looking at me and saying, ha ha, look at what we're doing. Isn't that funny? It's like the Simpsons of Star Trek, you know, and and I and I, Star Trek doesn't need that, I don't think. And but Star Trek isn't the same thing as it used to be. Like there is more new Trek than there is old Trek at this point. So. You know, who am I to say? I mean, we always hearken back to, like, the next generation being the heyday of Star Trek. Yeah, absolutely. Like, even, but during the next generation, like, there were people who loved the original series and hated the next generation because it was new Trek. Well, yeah, there were. And, you know, fair opinion. Um, It took a while for the next generation to grow in. Yeah. And well, even, even... Even after it came in, there were dumb episodes. 
Right, but they didn't <sighs> mask. Even even that tried to tried to stay you know within its within its tonal space. You know, it did try. Subrosa. <laughs> Again, it, like that—that's you're, you're. I don't think you're getting my point. I, 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 I I'm get, not sure if I'm explaining it the right way, <laughs> because yeah, yeah, I know the, I'm just saying that the, the, those aren't those are not deliberately inappropriate episodes. They are just bad quality episodes. That's a difference. <laughs> like, like, like they are not good. They were, they were, they're you know not great ideas and not executed all that well. Mostly because they're not good ideas. But that's, but that's not like. It, do you remember when they tried to reboot Bugs Bunny as like edgy cyber punks? No. You don't okay, well <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss that. Okay, well I don't remember I don't remember what it was called, but it lasted for like I don't even know. They advertised it a little bit and I think it maybe aired one episode and got cancelled because what the fuck, you know? I want to. I kind of want to see Cyberpunk Bugs Bunny. I don't remember even what it was called. If you remember what it was called, put a message in the comments. But like, I, that that that's what my problem is, though. It's 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 not that it's not fun to watch, and it's not that it's done badly or anything like that. It's it's not for you. It's not for me. It's it's just plain not for me, you know? It's 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 trying to drive a NASCAR to work every day. It doesn't fit. You know, it's 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 having ketchup flavored ice cream for lunch. Like it's it's not like why would you do this? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to point this out. It's it's not geared really for us i enjoy i know it. it's not geared for us <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> i guess i'm really good at putting myself in like the other audience issues yeah and uh, yeah and and sure but like I, I, but I, like I why does it why why does paramount have to do it in star trek why can't we why why can't why can't they they charter out like why can't it be the Oroville doing this? You know, why can't it be Galaxy Quest universe stuff that mocks things like this? Why can't it be like like why do we have to take the space that w that, that was created with this certain vision and the certain tonal identity? Why do we have to mock it within that space, right? Like you know, <laughs> there, 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 there are there are settings that are appropriate for things, and then there are settings that are not appropriate for things. Like, like that's what I'm saying is I don't, I don't, I don't mind lampooning things. I'm, I'm, I'm Doctor Fucking Lampoon. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's the fact that like. Like it's it's like it's 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 like it's like watching like <laughs> I don't know like 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 imagine going to a Shakespeare play and after every like 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 when every character is about to leave the stage they turn to the audience and give them a big wink and a thumbs up before they leave like it's it's that kind of it's that kind it's that level of why are you doing this to me is Star Trek Shakespeare no it's not but. I kind of want to put on the Shakespeare play and have like Hamlet like wink at you as he walks off the stage. Right, and if if you tried to sell that to me as like an authentic performance of Shakespeare, which is what this is trying to do, this is labeled Star Trek, produced by Lower Decks, and it's can or produced by Paramount, and it's canon. Right, that's so that is what the claim that it is making is that this is the same thing as all the rest of Star Trek. That's where my problem is. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep watching it, and I'll keep bitching. It'll be fine. Join us next time. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. <laughs>